I want to share a little tip for those of you who do your own valve adjustments on your old Mercedes diesels. These are the old OM616, 617 cast iron diesel engines that were built up to 1985. You're going to need a, a set of wrenches, of course. And I'm pretty proud of the wrenches that I designed that we make here right in our shop here at Mercedes Source. Uh, I, I heard that Hazet is now lo no longer manufacturing their wrenches. And of course, that was the reason why I made my own. <laughs> but uh, you're going to need these special wrenches. There's no way to get down underneath the camshaft and adjust those two nuts. There are two nuts. There's an adjusting nut and a locking nut. So you need to have those two wrenches to be able to go down here like this and make adjustments. Of course, you're going to need a feeler gauge. The purpose of this video is not to explain how to do the valve adjustment. Uh, that's covered in my instructions that come with these wrenches. But I do want to share a little problem that a lot of owners have run into. And I know this because of the number of emails that I've received over the years. The email goes something like this. Hey, Kent, I'm trying to adjust the valves on my old diesel and number two exhaust valve, I can't adjust it. No matter, no matter how much I get in there and turn the nut and lock it down, I keep the feeler gauge doesn't change and I'm not getting any, uh, any gap. So it becomes very frustrating because most of these people have no idea what's happening, but there's a problem with one of the nuts, the threads on the nut. It is a softer metal than the valve stem. And it's probably deliberate because, you know, if you're going to strip something, you want to strip the nut. You don't want to strip the valve stem because replacing that would require you to remove the head. But it is possible to change these nuts out without pulling the head off, okay? And that's, that's what you're going to have to do. If one of these nuts, the lower, smaller nut strips out, you'll find that you'll keep trying to adjust, trying to adjust no matter what you do, you cannot get the proper clearance between the rocker and the cam lobe. So I, I wanted to share that with you because there's the solution right there. Now as far as putting it on, it's a little bit tricky because you have to make sure that you get the piston up. You have to get the, the right piston up to top dead center so when you, when you pull the nut off, <laughs> The valve doesn't fall down into the engine. You understand what I'm saying? So you can remove the rockers. You don't have to remove the camshaft. And if you're going to have to do this, um, by the way, the instructions for doing all this are, they're not included in my valve adjusting instructions because most people don't run into this problem. But if you do run into this problem, these instructions on how to change these nuts out are included in my instructions on replacing the valve stem seals. Now, if you have a diesel that smokes a lot, particularly when it starts up, you know, it's, it's sitting, it's leaking oil down into the cylinders, you're getting a lot of black smoke, or you're losing quite a bit of oil, you might at least want to consider changing these valve stem seals. They're located right down in these springs. So they're not, they're not particularly easy to get to, but it can be done, and you can do it yourself if you're, you know, an intermediate DIYer. So consider that. If you're going to have to take, go to the trouble to pull one of these rocker assemblies off and get down in there to replace this nut, I would recommend that you go ahead and replace the valve stem seals if this isn't something that's been done in the last 10 years. Uh, our kit also comes with a little special tool that you see right here that allows you to get underneath the camshaft and press those new seals in place. So that's just the tip of the day. If you're having problems trying to adjust your valves, now you know the reason. So if you need, if you need other resources for your diesel, if you, if you need a set of wrenches, you, you're interested in learning more about this uh, valve stem seal replacement kit, we do include a couple of these nuts, by the way, in the kit. So if you uh, get all your... Um, you know, springs off and you find that you've got a couple worn nuts, you'll have a couple in that kit so you can replace them. So just follow the links. I'll put a bunch of links in the show more after this video and you can just look at these links. It'll take you right to the, all those specific resources on my website if you're an old diesel owner and need some help.